Whether you're studying health and social care or doing something completely different, male or female, if you've got the right values, then a career in adult social care will give you more opportunities and satisfaction than you might think. There are two routes to getting qualifications in care. You can either go straight into a job and earn while you learn by doing an apprenticeship, or you can get some qualifications before you start. Education centres are one place where you can study as a student on a number of different courses starting at level 2 or level 3 qualification. But there are lots of different options to choose from. The Help You Choose website is a good place to start. I've just completed a degree in applied social work. Prior to this, I worked as a support worker in the community. I worked in health and social care for about 16 years. I also used to care for my nan when I was younger. Personal experience of caring for a loved one or being cared for at any stage of life can be a major driver in people wishing to enter the world of social care. I'm currently studying a diploma in health and social care. I hope this leads to a foundation degree and then hopefully I can be trained up to be a physiotherapist because in my younger life I received a lot of care and I just want to help others. Health and social care is the largest employment sector in Norfolk, employing 53,000 people and it's still growing. Today has never been a better time for you to start your career in caring. Qualifications are important and will enhance your career, but there are personal values you will need that cannot be taught. An apprenticeship is the route into the care sector where you can both work and study for a qualification. But apprenticeships are changing, and in the future you may be able to do an apprenticeship that could lead you towards a registered professional qualification such as social work. I came into social care because I wanted to give people a better life and I wanted to gain some excellent qualifications. The thing I enjoy most about my role is my working relationship with residents and the fact it's so rewarding. Alicia has many qualities but I feel her biggest asset is how she loves to ask the staff questions every day and this in turn actually makes them think about their answers to refresh their knowledge. Social care is about providing person-centred care, promoting independence and empowering people to make their own choices about their life. Choices that you and I take for granted. We look for staff who are high energy, who have some life experience, who are able to role model our residents. We also look for people who are looking for a vocation as well as a career. When I was 18, I started working as a support worker in a homeless hostel. Um, and it's there really I started getting interested in working with people with mental health issues. From there I then was a support worker on an inpatient ward um, and that's when I realised I wanted to do my mental health nurse training. Uh, so I left to do that. I'm now working here bank shifts. At the minute I'm doing my mental health nursing degree so within that I'll get a professional qualification and a degree as well and you learn quite quickly when you do your nurse training that nursing isn't always about wearing a uniform and being in a hospital. We currently have six residents at Cascade, a mixture of male and females, starting at the age of 18, ranging up to 37. All of our residents have a learning disability and some mental health issues. Originally, I thought I would be working in a hospital once I'd qualified. However, since working here, I've just fallen in love with the job and so once I'm qualified, I'll be coming back and working as a nurse. Many people will remain in their own homes and receive care either through an agency or by employing their own personal assistants. I have two personal assistants, Mark and Annie. They support me out into the community with my charity work and to improve disabled people's lives and their independent living. I like working with Martin as a personal assistant because I'm helping them to do what they want to do. He's my employer. It's having the personal contact and really being able to support him doing something that he wants to do. For example, going to meetings with Norfolk County Council and improving things for disabled people across the county. I look for people who are honest, trustworthy, fun, 
adventurous and historical. All the care that Martin receives is person-centred, which means that his personal assistants focus on the activities that are important to him. As a result of the increasing number of disabled younger adults living longer, the growing number of older people needing care, adult social care is growing, and the number of social care jobs would increase by 275,000 by 2025. There is also high demand for registered nurses in nursing homes, where nursing is not just about treating a health condition, but looking to improve the well-being of the person as a whole. This is called holistic care. Meadow House is a nursing home with 38 residents, all under the age of 65. People mainly with multiple sclerosis, acquired brain injuries and physical disabilities. So what's the future for social care? New ways of working are being developed all the time and there are likely to be new integrated health and social care roles. New technologies and discoveries will also have a huge impact on health and social care. Bothorpe Care Village is one example of offering a different way of providing care to a more traditional residential home. Bothorpe provides housing with care where people live in their own apartments and can live as independently as possible, but with care on hand 24-7 if needed. It also provides specialist care for people living with dementia. When we recruit new staff, we look at their values, what's important to them, how they match with our values, and how they would transfer into the working role. When we interview people, we ask them to bring an item in that represents them, something that they're very passionate about, so we can see them as an individual. It's really important to have a passion for wanting to care for individuals. If you've got that passion, then you can go anywhere. Start as a care support worker, work your way up to team leader, deputy manager, or even manager. I started working in care because I wanted to do something that meant something, something that made a difference in this world. I started as a carer, but I very quickly advanced to being a team leader, a role that allowed me to develop my skills and make a difference for the residents. I'm part of somebody's journey within their role as a care support worker, and I just want to support them to how far they want to go. High quality social care is based on six values, also known as the six C's. There's care, compassion, commitment, communication, competence and courage. But what about you? Do you share these values? Have you ever thought about working in social care? Mm -hmm.